the one and only Jersey Joel. Glad to finally Come meet on, you. Man. How's it going? You ready? It's going. I'm ready, man. Awesome. I'm ready. What's going on, everybody? So, finally made it out to the lake. I am here with the one and only Jersey Joel, and uh, we're gonna be targeting pike. What do you think you're gonna start off with? Depending on where we go, if we go with weeds, I'm gonna use the weedless frog. If we go where there's not a lot of weeds, I'm gonna use the gold blue fox vibrax spinner. I catch everything with that. I catch bass, pike, crappie, pickerel. That's my my number one bait that I use is the spinner. Probably more than anything else. Cool. Well, what I'll have to do is probably tie in a spinner. Probably toss the fluke around till the sun sets, and then we're gonna be frog. I'm gonna go hit some shallow waters and hopefully land some frog bass later on. But right now we're gonna be targeting some pike. So hopefully we'll be able to land one or two. Just wanted to mention real quick, this is the gift that he brought me. One of his t-shirts here might just put it on and uh, might just bring me some good luck but thanks again and uh no problem, we're gonna get out on the water we're gonna start fishing and hopefully we're gonna land some fish let's do it it's not weedless you can't use it in weeds but anywhere around weeds in the clear water seen all my videos my personal best bass this is the top water killer right here the top water torpedo i've caught in more big bass on this the last two years than most people have in their entire life I've caught in about 30 bass on here, 10 of them probably at least 4 pounds on um, this little top water right here. And I've seen your videos and videos don't lie. You sure were working that torpedo and you for sure were catching a lot of bass with it. That and is I've awesome. I've lost big ones. I've lost 7 pounders that snapped my line on this and everything else. Oh, <laughs> heartbreaking ain't it? Yeah. That is go, awesome. I really appreciate it. Second gift. Man, now I feel bad because I haven't brought you anything. That's all right. I haven't brought you anything, but hopefully I'll bring you some good memories here on this lake. Oh, yeah. He's real familiar to this to this lake more than I am. My hometown lake. I grew up here. Hometown lake. So he's going to put me on some spots and Two hopefully... Two state records. Two state records here. Northern Pike and Black Crappie. That is all good news. So we're going to get on the water. We're going to get out there. We're going to start fishing. Let's go, you guys. Thanks again. All right, Joel, so we'll stop here and uh, we'll just fish this bridge a little bit. Let that sunset, uh, we could just start jigging. I'm not sure if you're gonna toss the spinner. Spinner might work. Spinner or the wacky worm? Probably or spinner the, first. Or the, yeah. Gold color, they just mesmerizes them. They love the gold flash, they just, you know, I, can't, I caught everything on it. Even cropping yellow perch on a spinner, on a big spinner. There's a lot of white perch here. A lot here. of white perch There's here. A lot yellow, of white per yellow perch also. white bass in your last video. Yeah, yep. there's a lot of white perch. White perch. They look similar. They do, they do. But they were pretty big, so that's why I thought there's yeah. no way they were white perch. So yeah, I'm just gonna start jigging with that same power bait jig head that I was using with that minnow. And I'm gonna I'm gonna just kill some time here underneath this bridge and hopefully we'll land some fish. Start catching some fish with that frog once that sun sets. But uh yeah, let's start fishing. Use, uh, I'm gonna use this power bait. It's a one eighth ounce jig head with a power bait minnow. That was uh imitating the minnows the other day that you saw right yep. we're catching all those white perch on exactly yeah. yep and i was able to land uh was able to land a large mouth with it also nice. yep so this is what i'm gonna start off with old faithful rod setup and uh we're gonna see if we'll be able to land some fish yeah all that bait fish you had to see it they're just jumping around you had to see all the white perch feeding on them it's a ton of bait fish a ton was also probably thinking of tossing the jig around. Worked the bottom real good. Those fish were right up against this wall. Okay. We could work this side a little bit, then we could go move on to the other side and uh, see if there's any fish stacked up over there. You can never go wrong with that wacky worm. <laughs> never. That place you've been on the boat fishing with your buddy looks like a great spot. Wow. Yeah, there's some monsters. Nobody visit. There's mo monsters in there. It's awesome. You gotta meet that guy. He's great. This is where you put all the white perch, right? right, right here. All the white perch here. Right. 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 Yeah, he's now in the shade under here. The gold will stand out a lot better. I caught a couple, they're but yeah, great. I caught them. They, they, they do. They do. They definitely do. Thanks for that tip. You want to catch giants on top water? Right along the sedge here. Look, right above the elves. See where the weeds are? Yep. Right where the weeds hit the open water. There's six pounders sitting there. Man, I, six and a half pounder there. Oh, I, I got one. I lost one and I reeled one in. <laughs> oh, you got one. Nice. I got one. A little one. Nice. Nice cropping. First one. Nothing big, but we sure will take it. Hey, it's a fish. Nice. 
Nice little crappie. Nice. They're down there. They're down deep. I think I might toss that jig around and see if there's any lurking around here. A catfish here too. A lot of catfish. Catfish, huh? Tons of them. Yep. Cool head. Nightcrawlers and slamming them. Nightcrawlers and the little power bait mouse tails, right where you're casting, all from here to shore, just casting them from the bridge. Tons of uh, catfish. That might just have to be the next video. Sorry. With uh, That's where it drops off. With the here. frog? Yeah. That, with the frog, I don't think I have. That's where it drops off. It's pretty good down there. A couple guys that go on here with a boat, they tell me they catch most of their fish down there, all the way down on the weeds. Black and blue jig. Black and blue jig. You like the peanut butter and jelly too. So <laughs> right? Yeah, the PB and J. PB and J. Hits most most people's hits on the wacky worm is on the pole. You know, which is exciting. All, right. all you gotta do is look at the line. The second it's going down, just yep. pull it. You know, a sunny will just tap it. Tap, tap, tap. Kings are heavier than the senkos anyway. I like strike kings. Yeah. All the time, but sometimes it is. If they're biting and hungry, it don't matter what you throw. They're gonna hit it. You know. Especially bass. So Those near their face, their reaction trackers, they're gonna hit it. That's that's true. Yeah, I agree. That's why I stick with a lot of lures that that work for me. You know, I don't go crazy buying all these new baits and stuff because if they're feeding, I'm gonna catch them on my regular stuff. You know, spinner, wacky worm, top water, whatever, crankbait. Word of the wise. Word from the wise. That's, that's, that's true. I have YouTube videos, guys. One guy has a channel because he's trying to create different content. He's just making his own lures out of like. Of and stuff and <laughs> and, and and they're they're catch them. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because of you, I ended up buying a few of a few. What are they? Mep spinners. I bought rooster tails. Yeah, got a couple of them. If you need one, help yourself. Whatever's on this boat, Joe, you're more than welcome to use. This is my best frog right here. I got a white and a brown one. I have I have the, the same Julia, exact one. Pat Crasher Jr. Yep. Yeah. The smaller size, so I caught most of my top water bass on the weedless frog on this. That's awesome. Slam it. Whenever you want to try a different spot, you just let me know. We could we could make that happen. Try this spinner right here. This is the spinner I used to catch that pike here. Common, right? Yep. Oh, I got one. First cast. First cast with the spinner. And it's a bass. Got the skunk out the boat. Told you, this uh, line over here looks good. There's a lot of overhanging trees and shade. Should be good for the spinner over here. Let's see if I can get one. I'm going to use a MEPS number three. Nothing big, but we will take it. What do you think, Joel? Nice. Nice little bass. You know, still a bass. Still, still a bass. bass. Yep. Let's keep fishing. Right under you. Right here. From the boat launch. Six pounder right here. Yep. Sweet. So I'm using this little minnow spinner here and uh, laying at our first pass. Oh. Yep. Oh, what's going on? Got him. Got him? Small one. Yep. There we go. Oh, sorry, buddy. That's oh, crappie. Yep. Yeah. That's that's it. Nice. Same Third spinner. One Third one. Oh, oh. got him! Got him, brother. That scared me. On the board, weedless frog. Told there you, you go. We should try this spot. Awesome. You know how loud that was? Yeah, I Man, heard him. Smack it. Bring him in. Not bad. Nice one. Really nice bass. That's awesome. Good job. First frog go. fish. Took me a while. I knew it. I told you we were going to land him. What did I tell you about weedless frog? You don't get a lot of bites. When you do, it's a quality bite and a quality fish. Good job. Look at that hook set, brother. That's right awesome. through both nostrils. Perfect <laughs> hook set. That's awesome. It got stuck in the thick I've weeds here, and I jiggled it out, and it hit the water, and boom, smack. 
smacked it. Nice. That's nice awesome. chunk, right? Perfect. Good job. Yeah, he told us come try the spot out and uh You should try casting between the branch sticking out and and these weeds where I got them. Right there. See that little channel with a clear path? Yep. Just in the back and there's more okay. weeds behind it. We'll try that out. Sweet. There you go. Perfect, man. Right. Awesome. On the board. That was the first hit, first blow up for me. All right, nice. First one for Top me. Water. You got him. That's a nice bass. It's a nice one, right? Beautiful. We each caught one on the same frog. Nice bass. Same frog. Nice hook set, yeah. Top water's fun. Right under the tree, right? Right by that tree, yep. Nice. It's cool, right? Yep, he wanted Sweet. it. Yeah, that, that bass was probably the first one that I missed. Didn't take it, but threw it back in there and uh, was able to land him. Catfish. <laughs> Look. Oh. What the hell was that? It was a catfish. He bit my spinner! What did I say? On a MEP spinner! Holy crap! Yeah? Oh I, man, I would love the whole thing. It was big. That was a pretty decent size, yeah. Crap. Scared me. Thought it was a pike. <laughs> on a spinner. He fought hard. I ain't never caught a catfish on a spinner before. He was almost in the boat. He bounced right here and bounced in. It spit the hook. 98% landed. Oh well. <laughs> That was exciting, right? Yeah, it was. Dude, especially not ex making? especially not knowing what it was. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> you know, I didn't land him. I almost landed him. He hit, I had him halfway I, in the boat. All right. I was about to take the net out. I should have let him tire out. He was heavy. I, I was, should have let you net him. I was about to. I was I'm about excited. to. You know, you get excited. No, no, I hear you. My adrenaline was rushed. I was just trying to... It, it's a double-edged sword. You all right. You them in as fast as you can because I played fish and lost them. Or you can let him tire and net him, you know, either way. 98% landed, I agree. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> hit right here and did a backflip. <laughs> At least we didn't have to worry about getting hit by the whiskers, you know? Exactly, exactly. Right in front Slimy of the fish. Right here. Oh, that was great. Cool, cool, cool. It was a big smile. I was fishing that for one. bass. It's definitely hit the water. I'm not sure what this is, brother. Would you like the net or you're good? I'll try and flip him quick. Ooh. Another catfish. Another cat. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Catfish uh, on spinners. Bullhead. I think the fins, you got to stay away from what are the front ones? Well, these right here. Those right there. Get my glove anyway. Better light here for you. Oh, I can feel those. Those are sharp. Oh, yeah. 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 Pliers? Right here. Them, okay. It is not every day at all catch. That's two catfish on a MEP spinner. Unbelievable. All right, buddy. I'll see you. Good job. Good job. Have you, I've never I've never had that happen before or I, seen that before. I told you. On a spinner. I told you. So I'm over here frogging, and Joel's over here working the MEP spinner and he's just landing catfish getting hit after hit it's it's crazy and the night is kicking us off the water soccer is life what's going on everybody once again it got a bit too late to make an outro out on the water so I'm just gonna make a quick one I want to mention what a great person Jersey Joel is make sure you guys go follow him I'm gonna leave his link down below Great person. He ended up bringing me one of his t-shirts and he gave me one of his favorite lures that he uses. Thanks again for that. Most of the day we were targeting pike. We were using spinners. I tossed the fluke around, but we had no luck. Once that sun set, we ended up bringing out the frogs. We started frog fishing and we were able to land one each. 
rough summer day, yes, but it was just a perfect time to get to know each other a little bit more. And make sure you guys go and follow him. I'm going to leave his link down below. Go check out his channel and make sure you guys subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe because there's going to be a lot more videos coming your way. And I will catch you guys back out on the water.